Well, hello, YouTubers. Today we're going to be talking about Link. Uh, Link came out in .NET 3.5, and one of the reasons behind Link was because um, uh, nowadays uh, developers have to query different types of objects. They have to query uh, SQL and data sets and data tables and objects, um, XML documents, and so on. And uh, the problem with that is that there's a, there's a large learning curve when you have to switch from one object to the other. One way around it that Microsoft found was to integrate all those, uh, all those languages into a single syntax. So uh, developers nowadays have the, uh, have the, the choice to uh, learn Link and, and therefore not have to switch syntax of way or, or, or different ways of thinking about an object uh, by using Link. Uh, what Link does, it encapsulates all those different uh, um, uh, methods and, and, and language and, and, and the ways of querying objects within the Link itself. Um, so with that in mind, um, hopefully you find this interesting. If, if right now all you're doing is querying data sets and data tables, perhaps you're not going to find this very interesting. But maybe later on when you're working with ASP.NET pages and you have to query um, um, uh, arrays or lists or, or XML documents and so on, you will find it, you find it interesting enough. So um, the earlier you get started in Link, the better it is. Um, it's definitely not very complicated. So today we're going to be talking about Link to Objects. Uh, there's a Link to Objects, Link to Entities and and, and SQL and, and different different things. We're going to be talking about uh, data sets and XML documents on the next few videos, but today we're going to start with objects. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, I'm going to create a um, uh, .NET 3.5 app in here, and it's just a console application. I name my namespace link dot link to objects. And uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to create an array of strings. And what this is, it's a, a list of countries of the world. Okay, so it's a simple array string with a list of countries of, of the world. And then inside my method here, I'm going to query data out of uh, out of out of this array. If you're not using a uh, link, what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to do a, a loop, and then you're going to have to do an if statement, and that's one way of doing it. Uh, but using link, you see it's pretty straightforward on how to do it. First of all, I'm going to uh, create a, a var type of object in here, and what a var is. Is, is a way to let the system decide what that type is going to be. Just an example, I'm going to create a var i, um, var a type countries in here, it, which countries is actually my um, uh, my string array. And then at the same time, I'm going to create um, a var type b in here. So I'm just going to I'm going to debug this so you can see what I'm referring to. It's just a one, and then a var type uh, c in here, which is uh, just a regular string. Okay. At this point, I'm going to uh, put a put a, uh, a debug line in there, press F5, and take a look in here. You can see that this uh, variable A here is type string array. Uh, variable type B here is an integer, and var variable type C is a string. So uh, the .NET framework uh, made a decision of what those uh, types should be based on the values that I enter inside uh, that, uh, that object. Um, and so at this point, you can see that my var a, uh, which is a, um, an array of strings, equals to uh, my country uh, country's array in there. So let's go ahead and uh, get back to link. I just want to make sure that you understand that part because uh, it, we're going to use this. Um, so I'm going to create a, a variable c in here. Um, I just want to name it c because it's going to have a, a list of countries. And I'm going to say that um, at this point, uh, variable C is going to be equal to uh, from names. Names is a variable that I'm just creating on the fly. Okay, and this is where link starts. This is the syntax. Uh, this is a query syntax when it comes to link. There's also the method syntax we're, where we're going to look at in a little bit. But let's just say that I'm going to I'm going to get all names um, in country, and what I want I want where names dot it starts with so I want all countries that it starts with the with the B as an example, okay? And I'm going to select that names, okay? Once I'm done, okay? So that's that's the link syntax for you right there. It's pretty straightforward. What what it's doing is is getting a list of all the countries, dumping into names, and then I'm applying a filter to names, 
and I'm going to say, give me all the names that start with the B, and then I'm going to select those names. Um, the reason for the select over here at the end is because you can do things like you can add or you can um, do two upper or you can substring even further. Um, so let me go ahead and then just uh, show that information now. So let's just say console dot right line in here and I'm going to put names in here. Oh, not names. Sorry. I'm going to say for each because I'm going to have several, uh, actually several strings inside uh, that C variable. Okay, because the C variable is going to equal to my collection of names in here. So I'm going to say um, string S in C, which is this variable right here. And I'm going to say for each one of those, um, print it on the screen. So right line S. Okay. And then over here at the end, I'm just going to put a, a read line so then we can see actually the results of it. Uh, it would be nice if I put a period in there. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. As you can see, I get a list of all the countries that it starts with the B, okay? Uh, Bahamas and so on. I can also do things like uh, where names starts with the B or um, names that start with, start with uh, uh, U. Okay, and then I can go ahead and run that again. So you can see that I have B's and U's over there. Okay, B's and U's. Um, you can also do other things as uh, order by, you can count, and so on. So that's pretty straightforward how to how to query data out of uh, out of uh, a string array. Um, and this is what uh, this is what's known as the uh, query syntax. There's also a different way of doing this. So let me comment this out really quick. I'm going to comment this out. And then I'm going to use the uh, method syntax in here, okay? which is a different way of getting the same data. And there's no differences in performance uh, uh, whatsoever. It's the same thing. It's just a method. Uh, it's just a, a preference, a way of preference. So let's say I'm going to declare my variable C in here. And I'm going to say where countries, because countries where it's where I have all my data. And I'm going to say where names go to names that starts with B. Okay? So that's a different way of querying it. Put a parenthesis in here. And um, at this point, I can simply run it. I'm going to press F5. And then I get my list of countries in there. So you can see it's pretty straightforward. Um, this is not this is not difficult at all. Um, this is a very quick introduction to link to objects. And um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Just write it and put it on, on your comments line, and then I'll be happy to try to help you guys. Okay. Uh, stay tuned, subscribe, and uh, rate, and I'll talk to you guys soon. See you later.